What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to some more Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, today we are gonna try and figure out. Oh, good. Oh, well, that's just the, the the camera that's on the floor. Oh, it's a lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves. What's over there? I need to know. Oh, that's just a trash can again. Okay. So, I want to go see if I can find Junko. Um, so, we have free time, as we, you guys know. So, I want to see if I can find Junko somewhere. There's also a present shop, wherever that is. I don't know where that is. Oh, is this where the presents are? Or is this the laundry room? Oh, this is the laundry, the laundry room. That would make sense. Oh, is Monokuma presence the one with the Monokuma face on it? That actually wouldn't shock me. Rattle, rattle. The door won't budge. It must be locked. Okay, no, it's not. Those are just classrooms. This Monokuma presence? No, but that's where Junko is, so that's good to know. Oh, this might be Monokuma presence. Oh, that sounds right. What's this? Oh, maybe it's if I turn the knob, the prize will come up. The mono, mo mo yeah, 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 give it a shot. Oh. Probably get going. That's more of a surveillance monitor. Oh, cool. A vending machine. I guess this must be a school store then. Well, we might as well get another thing from the machine, I guess. No, I want to learn more about it. During your stay at Hope Peaks Academy, you will find coins scattered throughout the school. The, these mono coins are treasures valued by kings and thieves alike. You can use the handbook menu to see how many coins you currently have. If you put those coins in the machine, there's a chance you could win a prize. The more coins you use, the better the chance you'll get something new. Check the present section of the handbook menu to review your prizes. Yeah, cool.
Oh, is that like a... Whoa. I... I, I don't know how I feel about that one, Chief. Anyways, let's go see Junko. And let's actually review what presents we have. Now that we have two on record. Very popular with men these days, but to be honest... Although it does attract ladies, most guys hate the smell. A sword that can't even cut through iron or flesh or anything really. In other words, it's totally useless. Hmm. Okay then. There's nothing inside. Are you for real? We have too much freaking spare time. How can anyone live like this? It's impossible. No way. I can't do it. Totally impossible. Yes, yeah, spend time with Junko. Hmm. I don't mind hanging out, but you better keep me entertained. I spent some time with Junko, but I'm not even sure if she was satisfied. Junko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Junko a present? Sure. Damn, Makoto, you've got pretty good taste. Does that mean she liked it? Hmm. Listen, I just want to make this clear and upfront. Don't get the wrong idea about any of this, okay? Huh? What do you mean? Yeah. I mean, I hope you're not expecting anything from me yeah. in return. I gotta keep my virtue safe, you know? Huh? Wait, do you mean... No, 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 I was not expecting anything of the Come sort. On. I figured. You're not that kind of guy, right? Looking at you, I get the total Omega Male vibe. Yeah. But still... They say that even the tamest guy can turn into wild animal, so I figured I'd say it anyway. A wild animal. Hmm. Don't even ask why, I, but I seem to attract guys like that. It's probably because she's um so flashy. The... They call me uh, super late at night, like, hey, let's hang. I don't even know what that means. Like, I don't even know what that means. Let's hang. It sounds so simple. Why? But why super late at night? And why is Junko seeming annoyed at it? Oh, you just meant hanging out? Mm -hmm. Huh? Did you just come to this, come to a decision or something? Oh, no. Forget it. For Anyways, we should all get together. This whole group is full of... Keeping creepos like that out of the way is like a full-time job, you know? Yeah, it must be tough. I mean, you're a model and all, so it really must... Mm -hmm. You really must be profitable. Wow, Makoto. You actually get it. <laughs> you do get it, right? You totally get me. I do. Totally. Listen, maybe I can introduce you to some of my friends sometime. So, what's your type? Super, you're super passive, right? So you need an aggressive girl. Real? Yeah, I think that'd be good for you. Someone who will go after you and not give up. Then no, no, I don't really... Yeah. I'll find the perfect girl as soon as we get out of here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, hope you're excited as I am. Jungle seemed really excited as she walked away. I don't really get it, but she likes hanging with, out with me. Jungle's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of scale points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Once we're all done, I headed back to my room for a while. There's still lots of time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll look around. Leave the area? Yes. Oh, here we go. Okay, now this is what I was looking for.
Okay, I'm gonna hang out with the software developer, actually. That's Kyoko. We don't want to go there. Yeah, there we go. That's her room. I guess I should press the button. Ding dong. Ah, uh, Makoto. What's going on? Hmm. Yes, I'm gonna hang out with software right. developer. Would you like to go somewhere and hang out? I mean, if you don't mind. I hung out with Cheerio or Cheerio for a while. Shihiro and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give? Sure. Huh? Huh? I can have this. <laughs> Thank you. This made me feel a little bit better. Does it mean she liked it? Mm. No. No. What's wrong with Chihiro? Um. Uh, it hurts. How did you get hurt, Chihiro? No. Uh, well, not really. I got bit by a mosquito last night. A mosquito? Oh, I figured something serious happened since you were saying uh. how it hurt. Oh, I did give you, did I give you the wrong impression. So, so sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's my own fault. But you did. You said it hurts. Did it bite, like the, you that hard? Um. Yeah. See, look. She held her arm, and a huge red bump stood out clearly against her pale skin. Holy what cow! What should I do? The, it's way past itchy now, and it really hurts. Why is it so big? Did it bite you while you were sleeping or something? You're wrong. Oh no, I was awake. But you didn't notice? Mm. No, I noticed, but, but what? You know? Well, I felt it bite me, and I looked down at it, but I didn't do anything. I just sat there and watched it suck my blood. Y you watched? What? Why didn't you smack huh? it? Because that would have killed it, right? Well, yeah, but... You know? It must have been really hungry to suck that much blood. If it was that hungry, it would have been really sad not to... I would have been... It would have been really sad not to let it have anything. But it's just a mosquito. Um... Mosquitoes are living things too, though. It might have been its own. It had. It might have its own mosquito family. So sorry. I know it's dumb, but no, you really don't need to apologize. I. D but don't go scratching it, okay? That'll make things worse. But what if it gets itchy? I can't take it. Well, in that case, just take the tip of your finger now and push it into the bump. That'll. Huh? What? I had no idea. <laughs> You're so smart, Makoto. She said that. She smiled a tiny, cute little... Or she smiled like a tiny, cute little animal. I wonder if she does that on purpose. If so, that's a whole other level mm -hmm. of scary. But anyway, don't you think that's kind of strange? Huh, you what know? is? Well, this school is completely sealed off, right? How could a mosquito get in? Maybe there's s somewhere in the school where bugs can live and grow in some kind of nature-y spot. A nature-y place in the school? Well, I can't say that's for sure, or for sure that there's not. Or, 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 there's a secret passage somewhere that leads out of the school. A secret passage. Well, even if there's not, I'm sure we'll get out of here somehow. As long as we all work together, I'm sure that we'll get out of here in no time. <laughs> You're right. Working together is super but... important. Of course, I don't know how useful, or how I can be useful. I'll probably just weigh you all down. That's not true. It makes me feel way better knowing that you're here to help. Huh? It does? Really? Yep, so don't let's all do our best, thank okay? Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, thank you, Makoto. Chiro's report card has been updated with your experience. Your maximum skill number of skill points has increased. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. As such, it is soon the doors to the dining hall. Okay, then. Sweet dream. The third day here has already come to an end. When will I know? We. When are we going to get out of here? I laid on my bed, stared blankly at the ceiling, and before I knew it, I had fallen into an uneasy sleep. I need an immediate fast acting pick me up. If it doesn't act now, it is the same as giving into regret. 
What do you think gui guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish anything if they take it slow. Even a human piece of excrement could create a masterpiece if they spent their entire life on it. Someone who does things timely fashion is both wise and admirable. S straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle is better than a backstroke or breaststroke. drive through is better than sit down. Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. When I, what I'm saying is speed is gold. Standard of uh, the stand or standard of the world. I I need pick -me -up. Meanwhile, point zero 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 two seconds later. Good morning, everyone. It is yet ready to greet. Welcome to Irritating Santa Monica Willis voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of restless sleep, day after day, I can feel the fatigue piling up. But as soon as that thought crossed my mind, the sound of the doorbell forced its way, in, forced its way into my room. Hey! Fantastic morning, isn't it? Talga. Hmm. Now then, if you'll pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, re reply talk barge into my room. W what's up, Taka? No matter how intensely, insane or intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure if I understand. And if you can't do it alone, just find somebody to support you. And you can support them back. You hear me? And that is how I, you can overcome any storm. Hmm. I was thinking about it last night, and I decided we need to really come together. And that's what I realized. Every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. And now it is the beginning of the fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. That is all for now. I'll have to let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He just figured it was a sure thing. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. No reason to, like... What do you have to say? Um, Toko. What's your what? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head to the dining hall, right? Uh, I know. I just need, need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? Uh, I'm just, just so nervous. What is she nervous about? What is she nervous about? That's a good question. Oh, we can talk to, like, everybody. Hi. Um, so who do we start with, then? I'll start with Junko. But more important. Okay, okay. I absolutely must talk to you. Let's hurry up and start the super meeting. Talk is gonna throw a fit if we don't. Okay, we talked to Taka. Listen to me! Okay, looks like everyone is here. So then, let us begin our very first breakfast meeting. Quiet down and listen! Everyone, thank you for making time in your busy schedules to come together. Break. Hmm. I know I already mentioned it before earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we all cooperate with each other. And the first step is this breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. From now on, let's all meet here in the dining hall every morning in the morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. <laughs> you want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've n n never done that before. before. I mean, I'm not sure, sure. Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echo throughout the dining hall. Seriously? Seriously, nothing at all. Hey. Anything can, it can be, it, anything it can be about how we get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? Are you going to die? Huh? Huh? Do you understand? If you can't stop showing your we weaknesses in front of others, you will die. Stop it! What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> I'm not joking. 
Adaptability is survivability. Didn't I not say so? You'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Oh yeah, it sounds what? like the girl wants to live here in hell. More power to her. But Piece of shit! In no way in hell am I gonna live here. I've I'm getting out of here. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> sure, feel free, honestly. Huh. Uh, okay, so nobody has any clues. One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else would anybody trap us here in the first place? Hey, listen. Well, sure, it could be something like that. But for now, actual uh, clues are more important. Uh, huh, what's up? Um, if you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre... Do you think maybe the person responsible for all this could be a certain murderous friend? Monokuma. A murderous friend? Chiricho, do you have some idea of who this might be behind all this? Well, uh, maybe. I mean, I can't be certain, but... Certainly not a concern right now. I'll allow for whatever remarks you may have. No. Okay, well... Have you guys heard of Genocide Jack? You mean the serial killer who's been in the news all over the internet? <laughs> The monstrous villain who murdered scores of victims in, in a brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. However, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and disappears without a trace. And on the internet, they started calling him <laughs> Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. <sighs> they say he claimed about over a thousand victims. Mm. This is just an urban legend, though, right? Like, I mean... Like, ten people would be totally insane. Mm. Anyways, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super huh? crazy. And if he really is the ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put together something like this. What? But that said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything. It's just a thought. Hey, hold on. But if they're the killer, isn't like that like a killer of a problem for us? Yeah. Oh, it's okay. It's... Everything's absolutely, positively, 100%, without a doubt, gonna be okay. Because help's gonna be here soon, I'm sure of it. Oh. Because, I mean... We've been stuck here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. And I bet they've called the police already. What's this? The police? You're putting your faith in the police? <laughs> What are you doing here? You guys. you guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? If their good is, or for be, if they're, if all they're good for is being a foil playing against a villain or an anti-hero or an evil organization, the bad guys come along and destroy them, and that shows how badass they really are. <laughs> are you really wanting to rely on some unreliable group of losers? <laughs> I mean, come on, if you really, really, really want to get out of here. All you gotta do is kill. <laughs> what the hell? Why the hell are you laughing? You know? I'm just impressed with the total commitment to this whole act. Come on. You're still going on about that? You're fucking dead. So, Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak, what the heck do you want? Huh? Mr. Siri Killy Serial Killer Psycho Freak, huh? Huh? That's a pretty long name, German, maybe? Hey, come on. We know who you really are. <laughs> Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. You son of a bitch. Don't ignore me. Hmm. Okay, okay, back to business. Your life here has already begun, and a couple days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. Hmm. I thought you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. Uh, I'm totally bored. There's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it. Wait, I think yes. Ding, 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 ding. I figured it out. In other words. All the mystery ingredients are here. Right people, right place. So why hasn't anyone killed yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I just realized there's one very important piece missing. Oh, what are you? Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you. It's motive. <laughs> well, it's simple. I need to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What the heck are you even talking hey. about? Um, oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. You son of a bitch. Stop changing the subject. Hmm. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Ooh, oh, but don't exciting. worry. It's not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. 
It's a special video for th each of you showing what's going on outside of the school. Outside of the school? What are you talking Hello. about? <laughs> oh, Master's so impatient today. Why don't you just watch and find mm. out? Here's Here in the school, there's a specific place that you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Correct. Good. Then let's go watch the video right now. Before we do that, I'd mm. like to know, what are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? Hmm? What do I want from you? Well, you must know. Just there. That's all. Well, now. If you want to know more than that, you'll have to figure it out on yourself. Hmm. Do whatever you need to uncover mystery and hidden within the school. I won't try and stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as a hack watching Grace search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. Um. He's gone. And once again, he left before we could find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of the truth. Interesting. However. Perhaps. But... What about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's, who's on it. Same here. Okay, so Mond is already glancing around the dining hall. But when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto. Check this out for us, would you? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? What rule? Jesus Christ. Hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Jesus, hey. Shit. hey. Stop fucking around. You see how passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick. I guess I'll get going. Though. Hell yeah. Awesome. Thanks. I owe you one. Hey, um. If Makoto's going, I'm going with him. It's not safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. Then we're counting on your both of ya. If anything happens, I'll just just yell and I'll keep running. Um. I can't decide if Mondo to is totally dependable or completely terrible. Yeah, I have to kind of say he's both. Not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person. So, where is the specific place Monokuma mentioned? It must be somewhere where you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place you can watch DVDs, then... Back to the room we literally were just in. Love it. Next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. Should be able to play DVDs. But I don't see any actual discs nearby. A DVD player is useless by itself. If we had something to watch, then at least that'd help pass the time. It's another security camera. Is there something in the box now? Huh? There's something inside the cardboard box. It's a bunch of DVDs. And one has a label with, on it with someone's name. It must have been a video for each of us he mentioned. Uh, hold on a second. I better go tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow her. I just stood there right where I was. The DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all the awareness. I was rooted in place. I can. I think I see something. Maybe I'll watch mine real quick before everybody else gets here. I sorted through the DVD box and found the one with my name on it, then slid it into the expensive-looking player. I sat down and stared intensely at the darkened screen, and then... <gasps> I yelled out without realizing my heart started racing, because it's what I saw on the monitor. It was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. Are you really watching us, Makoto? Good luck, okay? If it had ended there, it would have been fine. A message of love and support. 
After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope. It would have given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a, li if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to even do better. But here, now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life. I had a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out it was absolutely right. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where did everybody go? It looked like a war zone or something. As if, in reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice. It was him. Makoto Naegi accepted into Hope Peak Academy and his family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? A look for the answer. Look for the answer after graduation. What is this? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger built up inside me. Hot magma. I slammed my fist against the desk over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out right now and make sure everyone is safe. Makoto! What happened? Make sure who is safe. I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room and they stared at me like I was full of fa the faces full of confusion. But what's going on? Without a word, I pointed at the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Monica was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed DVDs with their name on it. One by one, they rushed to the monitor. Didn't take long for them to react. What the? This can't be real, right? It has to be fake. Hey, hold on. Yeah, no way it's real. <laughs> no way. I, I, I can't take it anymore. I, I, can't, I can't take this anymore. Get me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew they'd all been seeing, or they had all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion, except for her. Even now, she was totally calm. I see. I see. This is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave, so that we are more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries that are on the brink of war. Both countries want peace, and each commits to scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, and so each country's fear fears lowering their guard. As a result, neither scales back their forces, and they both end up betraying each Do other. You understand? In other words, the fear is invisible treachery becomes the greatest enemy of stability. <laughs> but that kind of sounds like us right now. Everyone says that they'll work together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. <laughs> Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? huh? You can't. You can say that, but maybe you're thinking that once everyone drops their guard, you can just. What is the? What? Hey. That's exactly what Monaco. That that is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind this wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. We all need to calm down. So then. Okay, then maybe we should start by all talking. Maybe we should just talk about what we saw. And that will help everything out, get out of our mm. system. Besides, I think that we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everybody's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just, just hurry up and to tell us. Sayaka. I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran away. Sayaka! That's enough. Let her go. I, I, I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I, I, I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what ha happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um. I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't have to stick around together, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them. Anymore. I have to go find Sayaka. What should I do? Everyone's really upset. I mean, how could anybody calm be calm right now? 
Why? How could something like that even exist? I just don't understand. I don't. To be able to do something like that, it's just because they are really um, are the, are a murderous fiend. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. In the next episode, we are going to go ahead and figure out what's going on with Sayaka and see if she's alright. Because, I mean, obviously she's not, but I don't, we don't know where she would have gone. But yeah, see you guys next time.